What? In the doghouse if you keep bugging me, because I'm sick, and I'll tell Mom if you don't let me watch TV. Mom's in the kitchen, and if you bug me, I'll call her. Look, I just... Do you know me? Wish I didn't, because then you wouldn't be my brother, and I'd have your room, and all the presents at Christmas. Though I will soon enough anyway, because you're a lousy rat. You're my brother? No, duh. Listen, I don't mean to, uh, bug you, but I can't seem t to remember anything. Will you please just tell me who you are? Mom, Steve is bugging me. Steve, leave Hank alone right now. Why am I a rat? What did I do to you? You went and got all mushy on that girl, and now you're lighting out on me. Well, if that's the way you're gonna be, then you can drop dead. I don't know what girl you're talking about. All summer, it's been Stephanie this and Stephanie that. And now you don't remember? You think I'm dumb or something? No, I just can't remember anything, like I said. Well, you better remember quick, because the wedding's in two weeks. What? Leave me alone so I can watch TV! I said I don't want to talk about her anymore. That's a weird-looking television. Come to think of it, this whole place looks totally retro. What do you mean, retro? All TVs look alike. Sure, basically. But this is one old-fashioned clunker. Old-fashioned? It's brand new. Yeah, but look at the tube. Where's the remote control? What's that? I... Now that I think about it, I can't remember. And what was that you said? About retro rockets? No, retro. It means... It means... Oh man, I know what I mean. That everything here is wrong. But I can't picture the difference. Then shut up and quit bugging me. I'm watching my terrible show. Good. Finally. Well, hello there. How about some cookies? There's plenty of rejects in the trash. Who are you? That's a fine way to talk to your mother. You're my mother? That's right. Though sometimes I get treated like the hired help around here. I don't remember you. Of course you don't. Until you need your socks washed. No, you don't understand. I can't remember where I am or even who I am. Land's sake, stop your joshing, won't you? Honestly, Steve, I thought you'd grow up a little after graduation. I only hope that new job will plant your feet on the ground. So that's my name. Your name will be M-U-D Mud if you don't stop teasing me, young man. Listen, this may sound strange, but I've lost my memory. Do you believe me? Well, you always were a kidder, Steve. I'm serious. Sure, and next you'll be telling me you don't remember Hank and your little sister. Sister? Shh, you'll wake her. I just put her down to sleep. If she wakes up, she'll just want to eat again. Darn it, I'm busy, and if you think I'm going to play along with this nonsense, you're crazier than Sparky down at the firehouse. Fine. Maybe I am crazy. I can't rule that out. Why can't you just help me a little? Is that too much to ask? Now you've done it. Are you happy? Poor baby. There, there. Did your brother scare you? Let me see. that wasp woman. She's a monster, that's what she is. Wasp woman? Tetsuya Crumb is going to hear about this. I want you to go to her house right now and give her a piece of my mind. I don't know where she lives. Honestly, you can't miss a house covered with paper nests. Steve, you tell her to mind her own beeswax or by golly, I'll take it up at the PTA. Or the law. What lodge? The Hall of the Order of the Harvest Moon, Steve. It's just the finest place in Harvest, and the most exclusive. What's so great about it? Hard to say, since hardly anyone gets inside. But it wouldn't be so exclusive if it wasn't just wonderful. 
Just like the new Reynolds dishwasher with their patented auto dry process TM. I've never used one, but I know I want it. Instead of sulking around the house all day, why not walk over to the lodge and apply for membership? That's wonderful, Steve. If you got into the lodge, you'd be the talk of Harvest. Harvest is a town unlike any you've ever known. In what way? I don't have time to go into it now. Why not take a walk around town and pester someone else? I'm busy. Don't forget to put the papers out for Jimmy. You know how he gets. Hey, Steve, I'm Jimmy James. Remember me? Uh, I guess not. Hey, how come you haven't been putting the paper out for me in the morning? Yeah? Well, try to remember, will ya? How'd you expect the working Joe to make an honest living? You don't put the paper out, I'm out of a job. So what? You don't get paid for picking up papers anyway. The Sentinel building burnt down. What the heck else am I supposed to do? Listen, start putting that paper out and everything will be Jake, okay? That's all I want. That and a pair of sneakers. Walking this route every day has worn holes in mine. Say, you got any spare sneakers? Oh, gee whiz. Look, if you find any, I'd be willing to trade you for them. Something really neat, though. Think about it. See you later, alligator. Hey, Steve. You've been doing a swell job putting the paper out in the morning. You just keep doing that, and we won't have any problems. That's not much to ask, is it? There he is, my future son-in-law. And how's he doing today? What brings him to the Potsdam household? Huh? Huh? Oh, you'll have to ask the missus about that. Stephanie's grounded to the wedding. <laughs> Can't have her changing her mind at the last minute. Not with all that meat at stake. Meat is the foundation of any decent society. Everyone needs at least three servings of red meat a day. And anyone who says otherwise is a commie. And once you're married to Stephanie, I'll be part of the family too. And your father will give me all the meat I want. <sighs> Trying to make up for not getting into the lodge. I haven't seen my father. He's not going to... Like I said, I don't not... Well, next time you see him... Yeah. You should be more concerned. If he dies, then who's going to take over the slaughterhouse? Who's going to take... Hello, Steve. Have you flossed? Well... Stephanie is grounded, Steve. Why? I'm sure I don't know. Mr. Poston has sent her to a room, and in her room she'll stay until Mr. Poston says otherwise. Tell me about this war. Well, it's set for three weeks. We're holding it over at Shady Oaks. Mr. Say what? Now I'm... Give my regards to... Hello, dear. And she's upstairs. Go right on up. Just remember, she's grounded until the wedding. Give my regards to your parents.
Who are you? What are you doing in my room? Haven't you heard? We're getting married. So, you're the one. Steve, isn't it? You mean... you don't know me? I mean I don't know anyone! I don't remember anything! How many times do I have to say it? Just one, Stephanie, because... I can't remember a damn thing either. Really? Oh God, I thought it was just me. You're not alone. Can you tell me what's going on here? Those people downstairs have locked me in my room. They say I'm grounded until the wedding. They claim to be my parents. I can't dispute it because I can't remember for sure one way or the other, but it doesn't feel right. Do you have any idea where you do belong? No, but I'm fairly sure I don't belong in Harvest. Yeah, I can't remember anything, but I feel in my heart that the woman downstairs is not my mother. She's like this thing, like a parody, a bad joke with mother as the punchline. Does that make any sense? I'm glad I'm not the only one who sees it that way. I thought I was going crazy. Join the club. But we can't both be crazy, Stephanie. Either way, something really weird is going on here. I've got to escape, and so do you. Because in a way, whether you know it or not, I think we're both grounded. Escape? Harvest is a prison, Steve. Don't forget that. Of course I'm right. Everything in Harvest seems to revolve around this damned lodge. This order of the Harvest Moon. They're responsible for this insane bake sale that's coming, and for the Harvest Blood Drive, too. When people talk about the lodge, it's always in this hushed, reverent tone. Mom keeps telling me that women can't join, but she keeps pressuring me to get you to join. She's not the only one who wants me to sign on with the Lodge. That's probably the worst thing you could do. You think the Lodge is some kind of trap? I think all of Harvest is a trap. That's true. Maybe joining the Lodge is the way out. Look, why not explore the town a little? I can't get out of here, but if I could, that's what I'd do. Maybe you can figure out what's happening here without going anywhere near the Lodge. You're really afraid of the Lodge, aren't you? I look at that building. All it Come back and visit me soon, okay? something? I did not speak, but my mind touched yours. Telepathy? But how? Only those who seek enlightenment warrant my attention. Do you hunger for true knowledge? There are always obstacles to the path. You must first fill out an application to be considered for initiation into the mysteries. Applications are available at the post office. Postmaster Boyle disseminates them to the uninitiated. I do not solely my hands. Then I just fill it out and return it to you, or what? You may find it difficult to obtain an application. You will no doubt need to find some way to persuade Postmaster Boyle to give you one in the middle of the month, as it is against his rules. When you do, however, bring it to me, and if you are worthy, you will be put to the test.
Hello there, youngster. You say, them aliens I was telling you about? Well, they came back last night. Cut another crop circle in my south field. How come I never see none of them saucers clam? Them aliens is wild, Pete. You don't cross the intergalactic void without learning a trick or two. You know what Pastorelli did? Yesterday, he gets an alarm system to protect his pole. <laughs> Only he don't know how to rig it, so now it's all awry. Why, that barber's pole of his is his pride and joy. Brought it all the way over from Italy, wrapped all special-like. It ain't nothing but colored glass with some bulbs just stuck up in it. Cody thinks it's to be all end all. Install that alarm system just to protect it. Though who in tarnation would want to steal a worthless piece of junk like that? I, I don't know. Maybe them aliens, Clem? Oh, Pete, don't be ignorant. Them aliens don't give a fig for no colored glass. You think if they can build spaceships, they can't make a dadgum barber pole? Crazy heck, don't know nothing about science. Well, son, the ways of the alien is a specialized area of woodcraft unknown to all but the wiliest sportsmen. What you gotta remember is, your average alien is smarter than your average human. So you gotta be extra careful building your blind if you want to bag one. You hunt aliens. Son, after nailing an alien, you can never go back to quail. What, you think you can get one of those at a swap meet? Line your blind with lead to fool their sensing machines. Lay real quiet. Preferably in the woods around the nuclear base. Oh, they love messing around out there. Why not wait outside your field, Clem? Wait for them to come a-carving. Oh, they do their crop doodles with zap guns you turn for. Don't you know nothing? Besides, ain't no place to put the blind out in the field. Now, you listen to Clem Parsons if you want to tag an unearthly being. They cross the void. Wondering what lies beyond, all the time not knowing, and what awaits them is... Buckshot! Anytime, Steve. Oh, who goes there? Uh, they tell me my name is Steve. All right, this is Section 21. Keep your distance, son. I wouldn't want to have to blow your head off. That makes two of us. So you're the amnesiac, huh? Just another draft-dodging ploy the way I see it. But at least you're not an alien. You see their ships every now and then. Sometimes swell bags one in the woods. Who are you? Colonel Buster Monroe, commander of the Harvest Nuclear Missile Installation. Keeping America safe from those who would dye our flag red, white, and pink. These are nuclear missiles? Goddamn right they are. Every one of them ready to rain death on the Ruskies. All I gotta do is hit the button and blammo! The price of vodka goes through the roof. Along with the vodka. Well, I suppose you have, you know... Safeguards against accidents? Safeguards? Don't be such a weak sister. There are no safeguards. This is the 50s. Then you have sole control of the, uh, missiles. That's right. Been in charge here since WW2, when I got my lower torso shot off in the war. Those panty wastes in Washington wanted to stick me behind a desk. To hell with that! They owed me! I left my legs in Dusseldorf. They owed me! Of course, they felt that after the trauma of having to crawl from Germany to England trailing my intestines behind me, I was too emotionally unstable to continue in the military. That's why they gave me this nice cushy job and put me in charge of the nuclear missiles. Aside from your commie bastard, your alien from another planet is the greatest threat to our democratic way of life. Did you know that 90% of sightings occur within the area of military installations? 
Hell, I shoot at them whenever I see their ships fly over. But my bullets ping harmlessly off of their hulls. I suspect those things operate out of a barge, but uh, just try to convince anyone in Harvest of that. I tell you, son, a nuclear holocaust would be preferable to a takeover by big-headed aliens from Pluto. Lucky for us, I'll be making that call when the time comes. Son, when you've had your body shot in half, you know a thing or two about fear. You learn that when something actually happens, it's never as bad as you imagine it would be. Oh, sure, I can't write my name in the snow. I had to shell out a few simoleons for portable IV drips, ostomy bags, and so on. The pain is hardly what I'd call constant. I have my good days when I pass out completely. We're never asked to endure more than we're capable of handling, mister. Folks would die in a nuclear holocaust, but nobody would die who wasn't going to die anyway, sooner or later. And the rest of us? Why, we'd take a little R&R &R at the old radiation bunker, climb out in two weeks, and go back to work, refreshed and ready to contribute as productive members of society again. Makes me wonder why I don't just push the button and take me a nice vacation. Can you give me any reason why I shouldn't? Have you lost your mind? You think you can toy with me just because I have no Lord Tarso, you damn kid, you? Or maybe you're one of those commie bastards. Frankly, all these questions are making me a little suspicious of you. Maybe you're one of those pink-blooded Americans. Can you give me any reason why I shouldn't shoot you right now? Appreciate your honesty, comrade.